Folder structure is super, super, super important when it comes to video editing and if you just like being organized and knowing where everything is on your computer. So let's hop in and see my folder structure. These are all the folders that I use within every single project that I work on. And I've actually named this one a video template. This way, whenever I'm ready to make a new project or a new video, I can just go and duplicate this template and drop everything into the folder that it needs to be in. So then the audio folder, I have music, sound effects, and voice. Obviously music is for music for backgrounds, SFX, sound effects, just for anything special I wanna spice up the video with, and voice is just voiceover. Sometimes I record audio into a separate audio recorder that is not in the video itself, and I just drop that inside this folder so that I know where exactly where to go and get my voice so I can match it up with the video. Footage. This one is super important. Other is just other videos you might find on the internet or if it's a paid project, it's something maybe the client gave you, that's what I throw in other, raw. This is the raw footage that I shoot for my videos. And I have a folder within it for every single camera that I use. I like doing this because if I shot a certain scene or a certain subject with one particular camera, I know exactly which one to go in and grab that footage from. We have screen caps, which is screen captures, which is what I'm using right now. If you're curious, I use OBS Studio to do that. And then stock, which is just any stock footage that I might pull up to use for B-roll. Now projects. This is organized within the types of programs that I work in. So After Effects, Blender, DaVinci Resolve, and Premiere Pro. And in DaVinci, because it's my favorite, <laughs> I actually have a template project that I keep in here at all times. That way I can just open it up and have everything that I need. Graphics. Within this folder, I have images, logos, and motion graphics. Sometimes there's other things that I could throw in here, but it's just anything that's graphical. So if you want to be really nitpicky, you could add like PowerPoint or Photoshop folder just to kind of throw a little bit extra organization <laughs> into this. Thumbnails. So if you go and make any thumbnails for YouTube videos or maybe it's Vimeo or something like that, I have them in here so you can easily access them. I do have a thumbnail template that I keep in here. Uh, I use Affinity Photo. If you want any videos with the Affinity line of programs, let me know and I will make those. We have proxies. This is where all the proxies that I make within DaVinci go inside so that I can replace my regular raw videos with lower quality <laughs> resolution videos so it's easier for me to edit in. And exports for review for a client or maybe it's a video I'm working on for my wife so she can look at it because it's not final. And when it is final, throw it in the final folder. Here's a bonus tip. If you work within DaVinci, you can just open up your folders within the project that you're working in, select them all. I used Control A to do that. And then I just drag them right over here where it says master, not within this section, within here, and drop it. You might get this. I always hit don't change. And there you go. Now all your folders are within here. So you can access them really easily. Do keep in mind if you go and add more footage or something else into any of these folders, it will not update in DaVinci. You do have to drag and drop that back into DaVinci to keep it updated. It's a little bit of a headache, but if you already have everything you need before you start the project, it's just a great tip to have. If you like my folder structure, but you don't wanna go through the habit of creating it yourself, you can click the link below and it will take you to a download where you can download it and use it on your computer.